don't know me. I'm Zoya. What's up? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I've been struggling a lot lately on finding it in my heart to forgive. Um, I've been having this problem because of how the person I'm trying to forgive completely changed my life. Um, for years, my confidence was at its lowest, and I couldn't even talk to the people who were most important to me. I was really hurt, and I just didn't think I could ever forgive them. Um, you may be facing a problem such as this in your own life, whether it's a misunderstanding with a close friend, or being hurt in a way you never have been before. Forgiveness is always something that you should try to do. Um, for a long time, I didn't, whoa, sorry. <laughs> I didn't understand why it was so important to forgive someone who disturbed my life so much. And before writing this sermon, I really had to ask myself, why do we forgive? And the simple answer is because the Bible says so. But a lot of the time, that's not enough for someone to convince someone or yourself to want to forgive. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God did this to forgive our sins and allow us to be saved through Christ. While there was no price needed to be paid by us for the forgiveness of our sins, there often is when you're forgiving people who've wronged you in your life. Um, whether it shows itself as lost trust or lost communication, it's still important to forgive as an act of love towards others and yourself. I read an article once that describes forgiveness as an act of love. Since God loved his creation and forgave us and sacrificed his son for us, we can honor that by forgiving others for their trespasses against us and showing God's grace and love through our own lives. Matthew 6.14 says, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Um, so from what I've said today, please just hear this. We forgive because our Heavenly Father did before us as an act of love. You may not want to show love to someone who's hurt you, but at least show love to yourself by releasing the grudge or burden that you're holding and saying that you will forgive to be an example of God's immense love for the world. Um, so I ask, are you ready to forgive today? It might not have to be everyone who's ever needed you to forgive them, but just one person the one person who you feel like you could never forgive. Think about how you could be a light in their life and maybe even your own by forgiving. My pastor once told me, well, Patrick once told me <laughs> that forgiveness isn't a feeling, it's a choice. So if you could all make the choice with me today to forgive, erase that negative mark that someone left on your mind, your spirit and your soul. And if you're still having doubts, remember, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4:13. Please pray with me. Lord, we thank you every day that you forgave us and that you put your son on the cross to forgive our sins. And we pray that we're able to make the choice to forgive others and to show your love and allow that light to be shown in the world. In your name we pray, amen.